Let me tell you a story about a simple party game that accidentally created a 70 year scientific quest. This is the History of AI series, a series where I demystify where this technology came from. And this is part one, the Turing test. This story starts in 1950. The character, Alan Turing, it's a genius code breaker. This is the problem. Everyone at the time was asking, can machines think? Turing, being a genius, realized that this question was a philosophical tar pit. The words machine and think are just fuzzy. So he proposed a brilliant workaround a story he called the imitation game. Here's the plot though. Imagine you're a judge texting with two contestants. One is a human and the other one is a machine. You're in one room and they're in another. Here's your job, figure out which one is which. If you, the judge, can't reliably tell the machine apart from a human, the machine passes. Now the genius here is that the test isn't about being right. It's about being convincingly human. The smart machine might even lie, ask it a hard math problem. It should pause or even get it wrong, just like we would. This was the ultimate AI cat fish. And this test doesn't measure consciousness. It measures performance. It's a test to determine whether or not it's a good actor, essentially. So what's the story? The Turing test was more than just a test. It was a prophecy. To pass it, a machine would need to master natural language, knowledge, reasoning, and learning. Turing didn't just ask a question. He handed the entire brand new field of AI its homework for the next 70 years. Next time, we'll see how that homework assignment officially created this field of AI at a summer workshop with some very optimistic founders. Stay tuned for part two.